Hey, it's Talon2863 here. Now tell me, have you ever heard of the item known as Boots of the Traveler? It's from the mod called Thomcraft, or the mod that is Thomcraft. That was a very strange way to put it, but it's from the Thomcraft mod. And when you have them equipped, you can walk up like block staircases like this as though they were half slabs. Kind of like in vanilla Minecraft, how you do with horses, right? You know, you just walk straight up it. You just hold forward and it goes right up it for you. It's really, really, really nice. Especially when, you know, you're out in the plains and it just keeps going up and up and up, you know, um, like the little, the mini hills and the valleys, whoops. Or, you know, if you're in the mountains and it's, it, and it's very mountainous and it, it can get annoying to traverse those. So I tried to duplicate the boots of the traveler from the Thomcraft mod in vanilla Minecraft. So, the way it works is you name any set of boots, boots of the traveler. It's important that you have, you, you spell it out exactly like that because that's the way the system works. <laughs> Anyways, um, so if you equip these and I hold forward, nothing happens. Do you know why nothing happens? Nothing happens because I forgot to turn this on. <laughs> okay, um, so there, there's a world download and um, when you open it up, it's gonna look like this. You just flick the lever and name the, the boots however you want it and it will do what it's supposed to. So, okay, let's go up the stairs now. I hold forward, bloop, bloop, bloop. It's so cool. You just go straight up. I'm not jumping or anything. You can probably tell from the just the way that I'm getting up. Um, and uh, <laughs> this was a side effect. I actually didn't intend it to be this way, but it works out really cool. So like, if you jump, you can go up too high um, ledges and it, you can just go across like one wide block gaps just by walking, like no jumping or anything. It's pretty fun. Um, and it's, it's definitely something that could be used in maps or whatever. And it's, it's small enough and simple enough that because that's all um, single use command blocks so it would just be this if you were to put it in your map or something um, if you liked it enough I guess uh, I should mention one thing is that due to the way the system works there is a little bit of a bug um, because it tests for any non air block and non air blocks include grass so you get this kind of woo. <laughs> You get this kind of bouncy effect, which is kind of fun. You know, it's like frolicking through the grass, like Superman frolicking or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but if if it really bothers you or something, you can just take them off and it's all normal. So um, I did say that it works with any boots, and I did mean that. Um, you can name... Oh, bump the mouse. I almost bumped my microphone. That would be bad. Um, just name it the same thing, Boots of the Traveler. The, the key, actually, I'll tell you a little secret. If you can, any item you can get in the boot slot that is named Boots of the Traveler will work with this. <laughs> so if you could get a banner and like you did replace item slot dot armor dot legs, feet, boots, I'm not really sure what it is, and then put a banner in that slot and called it Boots of the Traveler, it would work. <laughs> Which is kind of a side note, but it's fun. Um, so then just go up the stairs, works exactly the same. So, um, and I should mention, I guess, if, if the boots had like an enchant on them or whatever, they would still work. The, the only thing the system is looking for is it has to be in the boots slot and it has to be named Boots of the Traveler. So as long as it meets those two requirements, you're good. So you can, you can add in whatever else you want, you know, custom models or, and I don't know, I can't think of anything else. Custom models was the only thing that popped into my head. But you get the point. It, it works with anything as long as um, it retains that name. And that's pretty much it. So, like I said, in the description is a world download. And <laughs> gotta avoid the, the flowers and stuff or else. Whee! <laughs> um, and yeah, just 
download it and uh, name these things the boots of the traveler and nice. enjoy i guess and if you want to use it in your map or whatever it'd be really awesome if you put like a little sign on it that said made by talent 2863 but yeah whatever so um now i'm i'm gonna explain some of the technical things so if you just wanted to if you just want to play with this and enjoy it stick it in your map don't really care how it works go right on ahead um and if you're not interested in the technical stuff then you probably won't like the this last little bit but some people do like it and so i'm going to include it so it's pretty pretty obvious what this is right here this is a fill replace um, which is how you can turn it off because if you set an air block right here um it's trying to it's replacing quartz with redstone and redstone with quartz so ooh, cave noise um so when you put an air block there, it doesn't work. And if you put a redstone block there, then it, it turns back on. Um, same with any of these. If you were to break the individual blocks, it it's a nice control, uh, controllable kind of clock. I like them, so that's why I used it. The way uh, the actual block testing, I guess you could say, works is... Um, here, let me just get a block. Actually, let's get a grass block. Oops. Um, so... Uh, if you are, whoa, okay, <laughs> I have to take these off to show. So if you are this close, um, you can't go any closer to the grass block. Uh, then it, it senses, it senses that, actually, it senses that it's not an air block. That's what it's doing. That's why it does the thing with the flowers. So if this is not an air block, then the scoreboard gets set to one. And... Um, then there's a few more things. So that's what this and this does. This sets it to one and this sets it to zero if it's air. So uh, works pretty well together. Um, then these two, they do the exact same thing except for they're testing if this block and this block is air, which is actually something I should show you. If, whoopsies, if this, if it's like this, you're not gonna walk up it, it doesn't matter. You can try all you want. Nothing's gonna happen. How, but as soon as you take it off, you can go up. So that's that's just a little uh, counterbalance thing that I added in, because otherwise you'd get teleported into walls and stuff, and that would not be good. <laughs> um, so if it fulfills all three of those requirements, this is not an air block, this is an air block, and this is an air block, then this command here at the end activates. Um, so you see score of west block is um, minimum of one. That means you have a block to your west direction. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> that was an awkward, word, awkwardly worded sentence, but sure. Um, this uh, tests if it's, if there's an air block on top and this one tests if there's an air block on bottom. And this just tests if you have the boots on, which actually, if you want to change the name, nope, it's on the other side. If you want to change the name, the name's right here. So see, it says Boots of the Traveler. This is what what name it's testing for, and this is oopsies. Um, this is the slot. So that's the the boots slot, um, and then this is the thing. And you could make it so that it would test for enchantments and you know, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, um, so. These six command blocks in this, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That all does for, that's all for the west. Um, this is all for the east. This is all for the north. And this is all for the south. Um, so it's, it's pretty uncomplicated. It's just repeating some of the same stuff over and over. And if I, I don't know, if I thought about it really, really hard, there might be a way to, to limit this down to like, I don't know, just a, a few objectives, but. I just did it this way because it, it, it's a lot simpler this way. Um, and these are all like, this adds it all in for you. So when when you download it, it's going to look like this. Um, there's going to be quartz blocks here. Oh, well, <laughs> it, it will be off when you get it and there will be quartz blocks, quartz. I can too say it. And then when you turn it on, it, it adds all the scoreboards in and whatever, just automatically. And it only does it once because it's, it's actually a replace command, as you saw. It replaces quartz. It doesn't replace anything else, though, so 
like that. So it only triggers once, which is kind of nice. Um, that's really it. I, I don't think I mentioned, but these, these are all teleport commands for the different directions. Um, and I separated it just so it's easy to see. In fact, I did have a separation here, but then I added in the boots of the traveler stuff because I was at first I was just trying to figure out how to make it possible, and then I added this at the end. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to turn it on and off, you just delete the redstone block or place it here. Um, like I said, it's that's the way the clock works, and go on and have fun with it. <laughs> so um, I guess until next time, which actually. <laughs> before before I forget so recently well recently for me recently by the time this ep recently according to this episode there we go haha <laughs> I released an episode um, called peace shattered and I'm trying out a new thing in my let's play where I basically make um, I do a let's play but it's it's like story driven which is kind of interesting anyway so I'm really looking for feedback on that. So if you, if it sounds interesting to you and you're like, hmm, I, yeah, I'd check that out, go ahead and click the annotation that's that's after this little bit right here. You'll see it's it's called Talon's Oasis dash E2, or actually it's probably EP2, and then it says P Shattered. You'll, I mean, you'll you'll figure it out. Um, anyway, if it sounds interesting to you, I'd I'd be absolutely thrilled to hear your feedback on it and i'd be thrilled to hear your feedback on this like if if you see a super obvious way i could have made this way easier or something you know sure i'd be glad to oh it's off again turn it on <laughs> i'd be glad to hear about any pr in improvements and if you just have command block questions in general i'd love to answer those too so um see you next time Later.